It's vivid. It's transforming. It's rhythmic. We are so pleased to have you here. I'm Nettie Oliverio. I'm uh, Vice Chair of the Arts and Culture Commission for the City of Reno. What an honor to have such a wonderful exhibit here. Why Taiwan Matters. By the time you've gone through this, you know exactly why Taiwan Matters. Thank you so very much. Portuguese sailors, once upon a time, called Taiwan Ila Formosa, beautiful island. The Lonely Planet travel guide describes Taiwan as a hyper-modern skin, an ancient Chinese skeleton, and an aboriginal soul. As you examine the 34 photos in the exhibit around you, depicting aspects of the essence of Taiwanese life, it's clear that the Portuguese and the authors of The Lonely Planet knew what they were talking about. The Republic of China was founded 102 years ago and was the first democratic republic in East Asia. In recent years, their rapid economic growth has transformed the island from an agrarian society into a high-tech powerhouse, producing cutting-edge com components for computers and that ever-increasing number of list of mobile devices we all need. This prosperity has allowed Taiwan's population to create strong quality of life indicators, health care, green industries, education, futuristic recycling and repurposing programs, and their cultural offerings have literally exploded. A reverence for traditional art forms coexists alongside an amazing creative industry producing innovative music, visual art, dance, cuisine, and filmmaking. Well, you know, if you've not seen The Life of Pi yet, it's the best advertisement for Taiwan around. As orchid aficionados know and celebrate that great gift Taiwan is to the orchid world. More than 80% of the world's orchids and some of the very best hybrids around come from Taiwan. You can literally, literally spend a day walking through the cultured orchid gardens and just enjoy. And if you're reading your country of origin labels as you're shopping in US markets, you cannot miss those fabulous bananas, mangoes, and star fruits that we already import from Taiwan. In one of the exhibition photos, you see information about the National Palace Museum, which is one of the five largest museums in the entire world, with over 670,000 pieces and the most expansive Chinese artifacts and artwork in the entire world. I think it'll take you more than half a day to be able to see that when you go to Taiwan. If you're a foodie, you'll be in heaven in the night markets where the selection of street foods is unending and incredibly delicious. You simply walk from stall to stall and you graze, just like we're doing over here. We are so very blessed to have our Taiwan Restaurant 101 catering us and giving us a little taste of what it would be like to be in Taiwan tonight. In recognition of and appreciation for Taiwan's strong democratic sisterhood, the U.S. government, as of November 2012, offers visa-free entry to the U.S. to Taiwanese passport holders. And so we, in response, the Republic of China extends the same courtesy, visa-free entry to U.S. passport holders. So, ready to go? I think so. We will. <laughs> I would very much like to introduce you to wonderful councilwoman and vice mayor for the city of Reno, Sharon Zadra. Nettie, thank you. It really is um, our pleasure to, to have you join us. Um, she, she spoke so eloquently about the, the kinds of connections. Um, I think it really is the spirit of the people at the top of the list that connect us to other major cities 
um, and organizations. And, and our community has just been blessed with the outreach of international support um, in a similar way that you have been for this, this year. Um, both of us share um, in being in a, having been selected in the third year, the final year of an international um, philanthropic effort on, the, on behalf of IBM. And many, many hundreds of cities um, applied over time to have IBM come in and assist them with something that they needed in their community that could be supported by IBM. We secured that support this year, as did, did you in Taiwan. I mean, it's such an exciting, um, such an exciting time. New Taipei, actually, um, is, is a city that, that also will be receiving IBM support services this year. Our team from IBM just left last Friday. They were incredible. Um, they will be bringing to us economic development um, opportunities and streamlined efforts and um, a hub of organization and information. Yours will be for safety, public safety, something that we also have in common with you. So it is just delightful. I was down here earlier today looking at the, the photos and didn't have nearly enough time. So fortunate for me, I can look at them on any given day um, and, and kind of dream about. I have been to the Far East, but not to Taiwan. So I think that that's a reason for um, for another trip. Um, it is just delightful to have you with us. I know you're in a new, somewhat new position in San Francisco, and we're just a hop skip away. I hope, please come join me. Um, I hope that, I hope that we'll see you more often and that you will be able to, to benefit from our experiences as we will yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Councilwoman Zadra, thank you so very much. We much appreciate the wonderful words. I'd like to introduce you now to the guest of the hour, Mr. Bruce Fu. He's Director General of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in San Francisco, and as Sharon referred to, um, he and his wife Joan have been there since only October, so they're really getting adjusted to being in San Francisco. He was educated in Taiwan and in the U.S. at the University of South Carolina. Good, good Southern boy, a little bit of an accent. <laughs> um, and Director General Fu has had a plethora of positions and uh, interesting um, assignments in different and challenging parts of the world. He served as ambassador to the Republic of Nauru and represented the Taipei Economic and Trade Office in Indonesia and Jakarta and has been stationed on both coasts now of the United States. He and his wife Joan have two exceptionally accomplished children, um, a son in Washington, D.C., and a daughter in Colorado. And we are so very pleased to have the both of them with us today. Mr. Fu, thank you. Thank you, Nettie, for your very kind introduction. Well, Madam Vice Mayor Zetter, we have also uh, uh, some uh, distinguished guests here, which uh, all of you are distinguished guests, but let me let me a couple of names, special names I'd like to introduce to you all. It's uh, uh, Ms. Susan Lizagore for Senator Harry Reid's office, and also Mr. Andrew Lingfield for uh, your Senator uh, Dean Heller's office, and also uh, District Director uh, uh, Ms. Stacy Powerback for Congressman Mark Armando's officer office, and also on site we do have uh, Chairman for Nevada Art Council, uh, Mr. Tim Jones, and also uh, we have a Park uh, and Service. Park and Culture Service uh, Director, uh, Ms. Conway, for the city of Reno. Thank you. And also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests from all over the state of uh, the city of Reno and state of Nevada. And here also we have uh, a number of uh, friends from our Taiwanese community. In particular, I'd like to mention this uh, Professor uh, Helen Lee from the University of Nevada here. She's uh, a soprano, 
so she also teaches in uh, the music department. And thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, my name is Bruce Fu. I'm from uh, Tech Office in San Francisco, representing Republic of China on Taiwan. I'm very honored to have the privilege and the, uh, uh, have the privilege to join Madame Vice Mayor Zadra in hosting this reception in the great city of Reno, which is the sister city of Taichung in Taiwan. The major purpose uh, uh, is to introduce to you all the photo exhibition entitled Why Taiwan Matters. Since this is my first, uh, very first trip to the state uh, Nevada and also to the city of Reno, I would like to express my very sincere gratitude and appreciation for your kind participation for this evening's event in making this event successful. As one of the uh, 11 uh, tackle offices uh, throughout the United States, uh, my office is responsible to promote for the uh, trade, cultural, and uh, across-the-board relations between Taiwan and the state of Nevada, state of uh, Utah, and uh, Northern California. And this is why we're here for this trip. Join me here uh, for this evening is my wife, Joan. Also, my colleague, uh, Manfrey Peng. He's taking uh, pictures here, as well as uh, Jan H. Chang. Please, uh, OK. Also, uh, uh, Jade Wong. They are all my very able colleagues. Thanks for them for making this trip possible. Well, as former Secretary of State of uh, Madame Clinton once mentioned in her statement, uh, saying that Taiwan is a very important strategic and economic partner of the United States. So please allow me to elaborate, elaborate a little bit more and why we are here this evening. A couple uh, weeks ago, a Taiwan-born movie director An Lee gave a special thanks to Taiwan at its Academy Award ceremony after taking home the Oscars for Best Director in the film Life of P, Life of Pi. Director Li uh, did so because the movie was filmed in Taiwan with hundreds of local professionals working on the film's special effects. And moreover, over 80% of the movie was shot in Taiwan at the Taipei Zoo, and also in Kanding National Park, and also on the site of uh, the world largest wave genera generators in Taichung. Taichung is the sister city of Reno. As in the production of Life of Pi, Taiwan plays a vital role in the supply chains of the world's high-tech industry for several meaningful uh, reasons. Taiwan is the second largest digital camera lenses producer in the world, only after Japan. And it is the uh, Taiwan's, it is world's largest producer of GPS, accounting for nearly 90% of the market share. And also, without Taiwan's Honghai Precision Industry Corporation, the introduction of Apple computers iPhone, iPod, and iPad would have been delayed by more than two to three years. Economic stability has enabled the people of Taiwan to be more focused on their quality of life, artist artistic innovation. The exhibit here this evening, Why Taiwan Matters, explores Taiwan Vital, vitality and creati uh, creativity. These 34 photos provide you with windows, with a window to Taiwan's success story and share the people's way of life from the exceptional universal healthcare to a greener lifestyle and from preserving traditional culture 
to being on the forefront of Chinese music and art scene. In recognizing Taiwan's societal merits and its high civil qualities, the United States government accorded visa free privileges to people of Taiwan, starting from November the 2nd year 2012. Taiwan is one of only 37 countries in the world to enjoy this status. At the same time, Taiwan government, the Republic of China government, reciprocated, reciprocated the same 90-day uh, visa-free privilege to our American friends visiting Taiwan. So with the joint effort of both the governments of the people, uh, people of the United States and Taiwan will have more exchange of, of visits. Now, we expect more Taiwanese vis uh, tourists to come to the United States, including the state of Nevada, which has sister hold relationship with Taiwan. Meanwhile, we encourage our American friends to visit Taiwan and enjoy the beautiful scenery firsthand. We could assure you that you will be touched by the hospi hospitality of our people and discover really why Taiwan matters. Thank you to you all. And at the end of uh, uh, my remarks, I would like to uh, extend my very special thanks to Ms. Christine Fay for her very special help to us. Thank you very much. And most of the important, thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fu. Oh, and you, you're stealing some of mine. That's all I need. <laughs> Thank you. Other, oh, that's, that's about you, so you can have that. I mix it up a little bit. That's OK. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Otherwise, I don't know who comes next. How can I? <laughs> Actually, next up is the wonderful regional representative for Senator Reed's office, Susan Lissagor. Thank you so much. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, I am delighted to be here on behalf of Senator Reed, and he sends his best regards to all of you this evening. We want to thank the city of Reno um, for putting on uh, and making this beautiful uh, display and, and setting it in the lobby here so that no one who comes into this building is going to be able to walk by without being totally enticed by these beautiful images. And we, again, want to thank the city for, uh, for promoting this lovely display. And we uh, also, of course, we are, want to say thank you so much to uh, Mr. Bruce Fu and his lovely wife, Joan, and JJ and the rest of the staff that's come um, over the summit, which we know is a challenge in winter, and we hope you'll come back many times to see the state in um, different seasons and to get to know the state and its um, wonderful um, citizens. And we also uh, would like to present to you um, Director General Bruce Fu, this certificate of commendation, which reads, United States Senator Harry Reid Certificate of Commendation presented to Bruce Fu, commemorating your installation as the Director General of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in San Francisco, signed March 7, 2013, Harry Reid, United States Senator. And again, we welcome you um, to Nevada and of course to the West. And we know that your many years of experience and your great skills um, in, in your past posts are going to really serve our region and um, Taipei very well. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Next we have Regional Representative Andrew Legenfelter, who is the representative for U.S. Senator Dean Heller. Thank you, and good evening. Uh, it is truly an honor to be here to celebrate with each and every one of you, uh, in particular the Director General and his wife, uh, the culture and the 
the traditions of, of Taiwan and uh, the, the success that Taiwan has had as, uh, as now a, a global economic power and, uh, and in doing so exporting their culture and their, their traditions and their cuisine uh, to the rest of the world. And so thank you uh, for being here and to the Taiwanese people for, uh, for ev all the efforts that have been made uh, to get us to this point in our relations with uh, Taiwan. I also have a certificate of senatorial recognition uh, presented to the Director General Fu uh, in recognition of your first visit to the great state of Nevada. I hope we have many more in the future. Best wishes and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Next we have the District Director for Congressman Mark Amaday, Stacy Paracek. Thank you very much. Um, welcome everyone here today. This is really a wonderful exhibit and it's wonderful to meet you. Um, I've met JJ on several occasions and she's always delightful and we love when she comes into our office. Um, I know the Congressman wishes he could be here. Um, he'll come by, I'm sure, and see these beautiful pictures and maybe we can all someday come to Taiwan. It would be wonderful. Um, so I have a exhibit as well for you, Mr. Fu, and your wife. Um, and I also have one for <laughs> we thought we should give you one as well. Same. Very nice meeting you. Same. Please come back to Reno Same. often. Thank you, Stacy. We have scheduled um, State Senator Don Gustafson, and I've not seen. Um, that's right. Yeah, I know we were there. <laughs> it was a long day for them. Um, and uh, also, we were anticipating seeing State Assemblyman uh, Minority Leader Pat Hickey, and so I think he's probably in that same entourage. So I would like to ask um, a gentleman who also was in Carson today, but made it back sooner, <laughs> the uh, chairman of the Nevada Arts Council Board of Directors, uh, Mr. Tim Jones. Thank you, Nettie. Uh, it's been a long day, uh, and uh, for anybody, who, and there are several of us who were here and who were in Carson City early this morning uh, to uh, talk to our state legislature about the importance of the arts. And the importance of the arts is certainly demonstrated here through this exhibit that we see this evening. Cultural diversity is a defining characteristic of American life. Tribal, national, local, racial, and, and uh, ethnic traditions from all over the world are practiced in our country and some of them are recent, some of them are hundreds of years old, some of them are thousands of years old. And the Nevada Arts Council is proud to support artists who preserve these traditions. Uh, and our grants have helped artists from such countries as Bulgaria, Pakistan, Mexico, and Japan uh, reveal their artistry to Nevadans in our state while simultaneously um, helping immigrants and refugees maintain ties to their homelands as they make their new home in Nevada. Now what's occurring here tonight obviously is all about access and it's done through the art of photography. Nevadans having access to the Taiwanese country and culture uh, is going to be I think a hallmark of City Hall here for for quite some time. Uh, one of the things I've heard as people have strolled up and down this exhibit, four words, I didn't know that, <laughs> I didn't know that, and that is part of the purpose of uh, a, an exhibit just like this. Last night I, I must say that I went online and I googled why Taiwan matters. Uh, it's the title of this exhibit certainly, but it's also the title of a book. Why Taiwan Matters by Shelley Rigger, and uh, the subtitle of that book is A Small Island But a Global Powerhouse. And I think these exhibits and these photographs certainly demonstrate that it is a global powerhouse. And in a YouTube lecture that you can also see online, she talks about one of Taiwan's most revered dance companies. It's called the Cloud Gate Dance Theater as an ex excellent example of high culture in Taiwan and a beautiful and compelling export of that country. 
And although this form of dance may be specific to Taiwan, it speaks to the global human language of dance. So once again, it is the universality of arts and culture, dance, theater, photography, and literature. And I mentioned literature because um, I also found out that classic American literature is discussed in Taipei. Um, and it's exported through a series of discussions at the Taipei Main City Library. Just last weekend, the public in Taipei was invited to a discussion of the wonderful book by the American author, uh, author Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird. And this weekend, they will be discussing a book by Toni Morrison. So this is the cultural exchange that is so important to, to our country. So we are fortunate to have a better understanding of Taipei through this exhibit, and on behalf of the state agency responsible for enriching the cultural life of our state, welcome Mr. Fu and your colleagues, and thank you for helping to demonstrate the power of the universality of the arts. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. In light of the fact that our other Assembly and Senate folks have not come, I think we should eat. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. And again, to uh, Bruce and to Joan Fu, thank you very, very much for bringing us this and yourselves and your staff. Thank you. Thank you.